have the Pelinec trimmer. This trimmer is mounted on tractors and requires a flow rate of just 35 I per minute. It can efficiently handle any task in a vine yard. Its blade cutter bars ensure clean and precise cutting with the integrated Visonic technology, which automatically adjusts the width and height of the cutter bars to the height of the cordon. Thanks to its single joystick control system, the operator can control all functions conveniently. The deflector pins ensure the lateral cutting modules are along the row axis. The large opening at the row entrance and 20-inch exit allows for easy maneuvering in tight spaces. The hydraulic connectors are located on the coupling plate of the chassis. These allow one to couple uncouple the trimmer from a convenient height without using a wrench. Asolift is one of the leading Danish companies known for its top-notch harvesting solutions. The company offers a variety of harvesters ranging from tractor-mounted modules to self-propelled units. These harvesters are adaptable to various soil types, growing techniques, and yield capacities. They boast advanced technology, including hydraulic systems, electronic controls, and sensors that make them efficient and reliable. Harvesting carrots involves cutting, lifting, and cleaning them from the soil. All this and more is possible with Isolift Carrot Harvesters. They offer a working width of 16 feet and can harvest at speeds of up to 6 miles per hour. The Isolift Carrot Harvester can also short and grade the carrots based on size and quality and remove unwanted materials like stones, weeds, and leaves. In orchards, Fruit trees are pruned to have the best results. This helps young trees produce thick stems and open canopies where light and air can enter and promote flowering. It also reduces fungal and bacterial diseases. This pruning machine from the German company Frumiaco is the Pendordia SL1. It's a powerful and versatile tool for pruning fruit trees, especially those with higher branches. It can also be used for pruning other types of trees such as plums, walnuts, citrus, and even street trees or municipal plants. The machine has a rugged design and can cut branches up to 10 inches in diameter with its rotating saw disc. The saw discs are mounted on a special suspension that can be adjusted to different angles and heights. The machine can be attached to any tractor with a hydraulic generator and has a working width of 6.5 feet. In short, the Podadora SL1 is the perfect solution for fast and efficient pruning of any orchard or landscape. Ecolog is a Swedish company that specializes in forestry equipment. The company offers a variety of log harvesters. These forestry machines are top-notch in terms of performance, power, and perfection. They chop down trees and turn them into logs. One special feature of the Ecolog harvesters is their unique pendulum arm technique. It adjusts to the terrain and gives the operator complete control, no matter the ground conditions. The Ecolog Harvester has a strong harvester crane that can efficiently and safely handle any type of work at a reasonable cost. The Volvo Penta engine provides 320 horsepower and a cab that can rotate 350 degrees. The Ecolog Harvester has a ground clearance of 2.3 feet and weighs 48,500 pounds. Now you are looking at the Steel Maximo Weed Brush. The three-part weed brush system is designed to effectively clean large, heavily soiled surfaces. Each weed brush has a diameter of 43 inches, and the Steel Maximo has a total working width of up to 10 feet. It moves the weeds and dirt to the sides for easy sweeping. The brushes can work on their own and change position and rotation from the cabin. This cleaning system is suitable for many applications, including harbor ports, parking lots, industrial sites, airports, military sites, and more. To use the Steel Maximo, all you need is a tractor with a minimum of 90 horsepower, a three-point hitch, and a power takeoff system. Argyels is a company that designs and manufactures versatile machines for harvesting fruits and vegetables. They have a product called the AF-10 Evolution, designed to collect apples. 
It has a unique system that transports the fruits individually in rubber bowls, preventing any shocks or scratches. The machine also has a rotary filler with sensors to evenly distribute the fruits in the bins and adjust the filling level. The machine runs the Kubota engine. It has a hydrostatic transmission and hydraulic servo steering. Also, the hydrostatic side platforms can be adjusted vertically, which enables workers to access the tallest tree branches. The AF10 Evolution promises to improve productivity, quality, and safety during the harvesting process. The Conver Floating Boat This versatile and efficient machine helps in the maintenance of waterways and lakes. This innovative machine is designed and manufactured by Conver, a company that specializes in making solutions for keeping waterways and lakes clean and healthy. It can perform various tasks, such as mowing plants from embankments and flow profiles, removing debris from water surfaces, and transporting materials with a boat trailer. It is equipped with exclusive, high-quality components that make it reliable in all conditions. This machine can be used in shallow water, narrow channels, and hard-to-reach areas. Next, we have the Jumbo MK2. This brick-making machine is versatile and powerful, capable of producing various types of bricks and blocks using just one mold. Dubell Machines, a South African company specializing in brick and block making machinery, developed it in 1989. The Jumbo MK2 is a highly efficient machine that can produce up to 3,000 stock bricks in 12 6-inch blocks every day. It can be transported by a pickup truck and operated by two or th four people. The Jumbo MK2 is perfect for commercial brickyards that boost production and improve quality. Bellstone Custom Fencing is a company that specializes in creating beautiful and durable fences for your home or business. Whether you need a privacy fence, a security fence, or a decorative fence, Bellstone Custom Fencing can design and install it. You can choose from a variety of materials, such as wood, vinyl, metal, or composite, and customize the height, color, and style of your fence. Bellstone Custom Fencing also offers free estimates, competitive prices, and a 10-year warranty on all their products. Up next, we have the Kurt Systems. It's an innovative pre-training system that helps young horses get ready for racing and build strong muscles and bones. 
The system includes a one-mile-long all-weather track with a cabin that can accommodate up to 10 horses simultaneously. A knowledgeable team from the cabin keeps an eye on the horse's well-being, movement, behavior, and oxygen levels. The horses can work at various speeds ranging from trot to canter and can gradually build their weight and endurance using specially designed saddles. Kurt Systems aims to decrease the risk of horse injuries and enhance their performance by developing their physical and psychological structures in a consistent and balanced manner. Undoubtedly, Kurt Systems is the future of horse pre-training. Fall is a gorgeous season, but it can also get messy. Leaves accumulate on your yard, driveway, and walkways, making your property appear messy and posing a risk for people and vehicles. That's why you need the Pikerite Debris Collector. This powerful machine can quickly remove leaves, twigs, and other debris, leaving your outdoor areas clean and clear. The Debris Collector has a 25 horsepower engine, a 12 inch hose, and a 20 cubic yard hopper. It can handle both wet and dry leaves and as a hydraulic dump feature for easy onloading. Whether you have a small yard or a large estate, a debris collector can help you maintain it effectively. Next, we have the Road Zipper. This system is designed to reduce traffic congestion and improve safety on roads, bridges, and tunnels. It uses a barrier transfer machine to lift and move concrete barriers that can reconfigure travel lanes in real time, creating more efficient and flexible traffic patterns. The Road Zipper system is a cost-effective, reusable, and sustainable solution that has been used successfully around the world since 1984. It helped to create a better and safer Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. D-Wind One Pass Trenching is a family-owned business that has been offering trenching services since the 1980s. The company uses One Pass Trenching technology to avoid the risky, complex, and costly construction activities of traditional deep excavations. They dig a trench, lay a foundation, and install a fence section all in one go. The one-pass installations are built underground, below the water table, in loose soil, without trenches, dewatering, sheeting, pumping, or mass excavations. With one-pass trenching, they can install 1.2 miles of fence in a day. Interestingly, DeWin does not sell its custom-made trenchers, their trenching technology can install vertical wells, horizontal slotted pipe, and stone backfill up to 40 feet deep in a single pass under the contaminated water table, significantly reducing the need for soil remediation.
Next on our list is the Road Printer Bricklaying Machine. It offers a fast and easy way to pave a road with bricks. The machine can pave a whole road with edge finishing at once, with a maximum width of 19.7 feet. The road width is adjustable on the machine, allowing all widths from 3.3 feet to 19.7 feet to be paved. It's also battery powered and eco-friendly, making it a sustainable choice for road construction. The Road Printer Bricklaying Machine is the new standard for mechanized block paving, saving time, money, and labor. Now you're looking at a commercial snow removal solution called Aero Snow Melter. It's a trailer mounted device that can melt 300 tons of snow per hour. The Aero Snow Melter melts snow and ice quickly using hot water. It can be easily transported and connected to a fire hydrant or water tank anywhere. The melted snow is drained or released onto the ground without any piles or puddles remaining. The Aero Snow Melter is perfect for airports, parking lots, malls, stadiums, and other large facilities that require quick and efficient snow removal. It's also eco-friendly, reducing fuel consumption, CO2 emissions, and salt usage compared to trucking or dumping snow. Curb Roller Manufacturing is the global leader in making shaped concrete roller screeds. The company makes concrete roller screeds for shaping different concrete surfaces. They have the perfect machines for creating standard curbs, gutters, sidewalks, or even custom shapes. Their products are portable, ergonomic, and user-friendly. The company also offers the world's first battery-powered roller screed, which eliminates the needs for cords or gas engines. We have the Medpronar MRW 1.300. This shredder is powerful and versatile, capable of handling various materials. The shredder can shred green organic waste, wood, biomass, paper, plastics, films, small scrap, or bulky waste. It features a functional shaft with 42 knives, counter knives, and a customizable shiv for various materials. The shredder has a diesel engine with a power of 405 kilowatts and weighs 25 tons. It also includes a remote control, a magnetic separator, a clean fix system, and a large fuel tank. The Medpronar MRW 1.300 is a mobile and easy transportable machine. Next, we have the Kvernaland S series. This heavy duty power harrow is designed for tractors up to 250 horsepower and is compatible with all seed drill types. Its sturdy and self-supporting trow design enables enormous volumes of residues and stones to flow through without clogging. It also features quick-fit tines that are readily interchangeable without the use of tools and offer superior abrasion and twisting resistance. 
the S-Series offers a variety of rear rollers and adjustable rotor speeds to accommodate varied soil types and accomplish thorough crumbling without the whole operating width. It consists of four models with operating dimensions between 10 and 15 feet and weighs between 3,600 and 5,500 pounds. Up next, we have the Imperium 12000 from Valentini Antonio. It is a rotary tiller that can work on large areas of land with ease. It has a working width of 39.5 feet and a total footprint of 39.7 feet. It can be attached to tractors with 430 to 600 horsepower. The machine is equipped with a reinforced rotor and 276 rotary hose that can till the soil up to 11 inches deep. It also has a hydraulic system for opening and closing the bodies, locking the elements during transport, and adjusting the wheels and rollers. It comes standard with a two-point universal attachment for transport and operation. It is suitable for preparing the soil for agricultural seeding and sowing. The MH Automatic Straw Roof 1500 comes next. This equipment is designed to sew straws in plant beds and has a 59-inch working breadth. It can manage various varieties of square bundles and distribute straw swiftly and equitably. Its solid frame also functions as an oil reservoir for the hydraulic system. The three-point attachment is placed so that the machine moves immediately behind the tractor. The machine has two 20-inch pneumatic tires that are height-adjustable to assure stable maneuverability. Because straw bales do not break apart easily, the stretching rollers are made of high-quality steel and so withstand high loads. Straw is placed in the rear of the head box and on pins in the front of the bottom container for optimal distribution. Up next, we have the Whitney Six Sand Tipper from Van Ginkle. This compact and versatile trailer can transport sand and other materials. It is capable of being towed by a small excavator and has a low container height to facilitate loading. It is capable of being towed by a small excavator and has a low container height to facilitate loading. Folding or removing the side panels creates a horizontal cargo area. A single axle, inertia braking, LED illumination, and a hinged cover with a bottom lock are featured in the trailer. The container measures approximately 11.5 feet in length, 6.9 feet in width, and 1.6 feet in height. Customization options for the trailer include a rear tailgate with doors, a hydraulic support limb, air braking, and alternative tires.
Next, we have the Challenger AccuDrive. It is an intelligent propulsion system with pull-in turn capability and torque vectoring. When the tractor is taking a turn, the inside track will draw toward the center of the turn, reducing the turning radius and enhancing the tractor's maneuverability. A hydrostatic drive system regulates the speed and torque of each track independently to enable the pull-in turn effect. Depending on the tractor's speed and cargo, the turning radius gets decreased by up to 10 feet. The tractor's torque vectoring feature provides optimal power and propulsion on any terrain. It intelligently distributes torque between the front and rear axles based on the vehicle's cargo and terrain. Thus, the tractor can maintain a constant speed, reducing tire slippage, fuel consumption, and soil compaction. Today's industries are looking to streamline transport assignments and make them more sustainable. Therefore, considering self-driving vehicles is not a bad idea. That is why Scania is working on a cabless autonomous concept truck, requiring no driver at all. However, this isn't an electric truck. It actually has an internal combustion engine, but Scania is working on its renewable biofuel-powered variants. The modern ETF haul truck is capable of dragging four times more rocks than the typical giant yellow monstrous mining trucks. It is able to carry up to 400 tons in a single load. The truck is also even more robust thanks to the central tire inflation system. The machine always controls and adjusts each wheel's height to counteract road bumps. If the tire unexpectedly deflates, the machine will instantly warn the driver and raise the wheel to allow the driver to continue driving. the Liebherr LR13000. This is the world's most powerful crawler crane, offering a lifting capacity of 3,300 US tons and a maximum hoisting height of 774 feet. Liebherr created it for heavyweight lifting operations. It has been used to put up more than 1,500 pounds of heavy structures, such as power plant units, refinery structures, and industrial columns. It is also the only crane in its class that can be used without a derrick ballast. Winches with single drives provide fail-proof operation. In case of failure, a drive can be changed under load. Moreover, despite its massive size, the gigantic crane can be delivered at a minimal cost all over the globe. Also, it uses concrete ballast units that look like 20-inch containers and are easy and cheap to move. Up next, we have the Bucyrus Erie 257, aka Big King. This huge walking drag line has been operational since 1978. In terms of size, it stands 220 feet high, which is taller than a 20-story building and can operate in a radius of 300 feet, equal to the length of an American football field. The weight of this drag line is 10.4 million pounds and it features a 310-foot-long boom equipped with a 100-cubic-yard bucket. 
it has an over-under fair lead system that helps keep dirt out of the machinery house and makes the drag rope last longer. Unlike conventional walking drag lines, it was built in module sections, thus not requiring any welding to assemble, meaning its assembly takes only a few weeks, while others need months. Next, we have the 4800 XPC Komatsu. This ultra-class electric rope shovel was built for challenging environments. With its 92 cubic yard dipper, the shovel can fill a large dumper in just three passes. Its adaptive controls are designed to increase output while reducing boom jacking by up to 50%. It has a dynamic crowd design system that ensures fine motion control and high crowd forces to enhance penetration and reduce abrasive damage. To prevent a collision between the dipper and the tracks, its shield system monitors the dipper's movement and mitigates damage as necessary. If you've been enjoying these giants so far, don't worry. There's even bigger ones coming up. The Bucyrus RH400 Terex Owen K RH400. We are now looking at the second largest hydraulic excavator in the world, which is 980 tons in weight. The first name of this behemoth was Terex RH400. It was introduced in Germany in 1997. However, Terex sold its mining business to Bucyrus in 2010, and the model's identity has changed to the Bucyrus RH400. The excavator can collect around 9,900 tons of material every hour, establishing a new world record for a hydraulic mining excavator. It features a phase shovel bucket capacity of 65 cubic yards, which can handle 85 tons of material in a single scoop and load any mining truck in just 3 to 5 passes. The RH400 draws power with twin engines that generate a combined power of 4,500 horsepower. It takes six vehicle batteries to just start the engines, with which this mighty excavator can travel at a top speed of 2.2 kilometers an hour. That's just about 1.4 miles an hour. Now you're looking at one of the biggest wheel loaders ever built in the world. It is the Komatsu PNH LT350 that comes with an operating capacity of 72,574 kilograms. It was designed for dump trucks with payload ratings ranging from 320 to 400 plus tons. The dozer has state-of-the-art features. For instance, whenever its hybrid drive slows down or stops, it changes into a generator and sends power back into the electrical system. Likewise, it has a LINCS2 network control system that provides instant real-time feedback to boost productivity. The spacious cab is environmentally controlled, offering excellent visibility, a comfortable ride, and room for a trainer seat.
Belaz is a Belarusian-based company known for producing large dump trucks. In fact, the world's largest dump truck belongs to this company, which is the Belaz 75710. It weighs 360 tons and has a payload capacity of 496 tons. According to estimates, the price of this truck is somewhere between 6 and 7.5 million USD. Belaz has introduced several models and series of such mining trucks, but all of them can be categorized into two types based on their transmission technology. The hydromechanical transmission uses fluid with a pump to run the wheel, while the electromechanical transmission consists of electric motors that drive the truck. of the Bagger 293. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, this is the world's largest land-based vehicle, coming in at 315 feet tall, 740 feet long, and weighing over 31 million pounds. It was built in 1995 in Germany for mining operations. The Bagger 293 excavates using a massive 70-foot spinning wheel at the end of a long arm. This wheel is equipped with a series of buckets that, as the wheel turns, scoop up soil and deposit it onto a conveyor belt. The conveyor belt then loads the dirt into the dump trucks. Being the largest bucket excavator of its kind, the Bagger 293 can excavate a football-sized hole 80 meters deep in a day. In simple words, it can dig 8.5 million cubic feet per day and requires a crew of five to operate. Next, we have the Famer Road Header. This machine can cut through rocky terrain to produce tunnels for mining or other uses. It features a spinning cutting drum and a conveyor belt to remove the excavated material. Famer is a European company that manufactures multiple road header variants with varying technological features and benefits. Some of their models can handle extremely hard rocks with compressive strengths of up to 95 megapascals. These are simple to use, maintain, and transport. 
In addition, they include safety features and display control systems. These are used in work sites like mines, quarries, and landfills, where rock cutting is necessary. Next, we have the Joymat SX. This machine is designed to extract coal from a long wall face. Kamatsu, a multinational producer of mining equipment, has manufactured it. The machine meets Tier 2 emission requirements and has a cutting height range of 1.5 to 4.5 meters. It weighs around 52 to 82 tons and offers a haulage pull capacity of 1,000 kilonewtons. Advanced automation, an ergonomic display control system, a modular design, and simple maintenance are some of its features. In addition, it has a high rate of production and operational dependability. The Joymat S6 shearer is ideal for underground coal mining environments. Last but certainly not least, we have the Slag Torres from Technet Kira. The German company manufactures different transport systems for metallurgical and rail sectors. The Slag Torres can carry 50 tons of molten slag from a blast furnace to a disposal location. It has articulated steering and a safety system that prevents overturning. There are also two design possibilities available, a platform or a U-frame. The minimal total width of the platform makes it suitable for small highways. The U-frame design provides excellent vision and short hydraulic lifts, making it suitable for broad roadways and low pickup heights. It is equipped with a Caterpillar engine and gearbox. It is robust and reliable, withstanding high temperatures and harsh conditions. The Remax 200. It is a track-mounted impact crusher. 
Impact crushers use a rotating rotor to crush materials on a fixed surface, resulting in fragmentation. The Remax 200 provides exceptional performance and efficiency in applications involving recycling. It features a diesel-electric powertrain system that decreases pollution and fuel consumption. It also has a disposal chute underneath the impact crusher, which is crucial for dealing with construction and demolition debris. The Remax 200 has an intake hole of 25.6 by 37.4 inches and weighs 60,627 pounds. It has a throughput capacity of about 275 tons per hour. Next, we have the CAT HW300. It is a high-wall mining system that allows for both underground and surface mining. Depending on the seam height, it is capable of producing 44,000 to 121,000 tons of coal each month. The system comprises an underground-driven, unmanned cutter module that operates in front of the high wall. The cutter module is driven into the seam by a series of push beams, which also convey the extracted coal back to the entrance of the drive and onto a stack. The system has a comfortable climate-controlled pressurized cab that provides a comprehensive view of the mining activity and the high wall. As the coal seam fluctuates, the operator can manually adjust the machine function using an ampere measurement. Next, we have the Gunther and Zimmermann 7300. This trenching machine is designed to dig and create canals for irrigation or drainage. It features a large toothed metal wheel that revolves and cuts the earth into a trapezoidal shape. The dirt is subsequently transferred to the other bank of the canal by use of a conveyor belt. The machine can modify the canal's size and depth in response to the slope. It is powered by a diesel engine that complies with environmental regulations. The machine's tracks and leveling mechanism enable it to traverse uneven terrain. It has been built by a California-based company, Gunther & Zimmerman, and weighs around 95,000 pounds. Next is the Christoffel Fines Master Wash Plant. It is a fluid cleaning system capable of removing fine particles from sand and aggregates. It can process up to 120 tons of cleaned and dewatered material each hour. The wash plant includes a cyclone, dewatering screen, sump tank, and slurry pump. The cyclone separates particles from liquids and directs them to the dewatering screen. The screen eliminates excess moisture and generates a dry product. It also has an integrated control panel for operators to modify the water flow, pressure, and speed. In short, the wash plant is portable, compact, and simple to install and operate.
the Christoffel Agwash. This modular washing system was built by a German company, C. Christoffel GmbH. It is capable of producing up to two classes of sand and removing clays, silt, and slimes from the feed material. The material is loaded into a feed hopper and then transported to a log washer, where it is washed to remove clays and other impurities. After passing through a rinsing screen, the material is cleaned and divided into various size fractions. Coarse aggregates are released onto a stockpile conveyor, while fine aggregates are bumped to a hydrocyclone machine for further classification into sand grades. The sand is then dehydrated using a high-frequency screen and stacked using radial conveyors. Well, there you have it. We hope you enjoyed learning about these great machines. If you did, consider subscribing. We've got plenty of more machines that you can learn about. Just click here. And with that, we'll see you next time.